Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this Barbie logo reveal is inspired from the Barbie movie itself and it's very easy to create. You can use any type of logo or text even. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we proceed, I want to show you something. So we finally got our silver play button and I am so grateful and thankful for this. So thank you each and every one of you for your amazing support and let's continue this. Alright, so first we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition and I'm going to call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we have our composition so i'm going to create another composition for our text so let's create new one and i'm going to call this one media or logo whatever you want rest of the things will remain same just click on ok so let's open this logo comp and i'm going to quickly drag this barbie logo which i have over here now it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever logo you want so let me just quickly scale this down a little bit now we can go back to the main composition and over here we can drag our logo comp like this now i also have a reference image of the original barbie logo something like this so we are going to just recreate this using after effects so let me just quickly place it over here so that we can refer this out let's place this at the bottom something like that now if you are an Oppenheimer fan then i have recreated its title animation as well and the video is currently live on my channel so if you want you can just check that out as well it's very amazing and you will love it perfect so here we have everything now let's start first we are going to match the color so for that let's select this and let's search for fill and let's drag this fill onto this now i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's select this and i'm going to just pick this color which we have over here so that we have some matching colors perfect now our next step is to add this depth so in order to do that i'm going to select this logo layer press ctrl d to duplicate this and on the second one i'm going to quickly rename this to depth and on this one let's apply cc radial blur let's drag it over here and also i'm going to apply curves let's drag that as well first i'm going to just change its color to match this one so let's pick with this so let's pick this color and I'm going to select this one. Now in order to add the depth, I'm going to change this to fading zoom. And after that, I'm going to just set this to something like negative 10 like that. Now I'm going to change the curves from RGB to alpha. Now we can click somewhere in the middle and we can just drag this point. So now you can see we are able to have a little bit of 3d depth like this now we can play around with its angle by using this center option so if i click and just place it over here now you can see that we are able to see this depth now i want this to be at this angle at which we have in the original title so i'm going to just select this and let's move it away until we find something that looks pretty much similar so somewhere around here Again, it's completely up to you. You can just place it here or you can just place it at the top, whatever you want. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now you will notice one more thing that in the original one, we also have this outline on this logo, but we don't have it over here. So we can just quickly add that by simply selecting this layer. Then you can right click, go to layer style and let's enable stroke. And now let's go under the stroke options. And from here, I'm going to just increase its value till we find something that looks good so somewhere around here yeah i think this looks good now we can just simply pick the same color so here you can see we have this sort of thing perfect and now we are pretty much done with our logo and let's focus on this main center part and here you can see that we have this little bit of 3d kind of bulge and we also have some really nice lighting so let's quickly add them so for that i'm going to just select this main layer and i'm going to right click and let's go to layer style and we are going to enable the bevel and emboss like this and let's open this up and i'm going to make a little bit of space over here first i'm going to play around with this depth so if i increase this up you can see that we are able to see some really nice depth over here so let's set this to something like 250 perfect now we can play around with the size as well. So if I increase this up, you can see that we are able to get a little bit of more depth. So for that, you can just 
pick this somewhere around 10 or 11 let's set this to 11 perfect now we have rest of the settings over here so i'm going to quickly change the screen opacity so i'm going to just increase this to something like 80 perfect now we don't want this much of darkness so i'm going to just lower down this value so we can just place it somewhere around 10 or 15 so let's keep it at 10 perfect so here you can see we are able to see a little bit of 3d depth and if you want you can play around with the size like this to make this even more circular or you can just simply lower this down to have these really nice edges now you can play around with the size or smoothness as well again this is completely up to you you can just play around with these values now once you're done with this let's add a little bit of softness so that we can merge these edges so i'm going to just increase this up till we have something like this so let's keep this something around eight perfect so now you can see we have a little bit of this sort of look but still it is not looking much so before we proceed i put a lot of efforts into creating these tutorials and if you want to support my channel then you can join my patreon page link for that is in the description it helps me to create more content for you guys so make sure to check it out so let's continue so for that we can do one more thing let's add some drop shadow to this let's select this right click and let's go to layer style let's add some drop shadow and over here again you can play around with these values to however you want let's open up the drop shadow now we can play around with these values so let's lower this down so i'm going to just simply set this to somewhere around 20 or 15 maybe because we don't want this to be overpowered we really want just simply subtle shadow and i'm going to just set this value to something like let's lower this down to somewhere around three or four and size i'm going to just increase this little bit to somewhere around 10 perfect so now we have really nice shadows over here now again if you want to make these more dark then you can just increase this opacity but for this one i'm going to just leave this to 20 perfect so here we have our text and now our next step is to add these really nice highlights so for that we can do one thing let's quickly drag one more copy of this logo and on this one i'm going to quickly copy this fill and let's paste it so that we have both the same and here you can see we have this flat layer and in order to add the highlights we are going to apply one more effect so let's search for cc class and let's drag it onto this perfect so now you can see we have this sort of thing now i'm going to go under the surface and make sure that this logo is selected and now let's play around with these properties and i'm going to just quickly lower this down to somewhere around 10 or 12 maybe now height we can just simply lower this down to something like 6 and displacement we can also lower this down so i'm going to just keep it to somewhere around 4 or 5 perfect so here you can see we are able to see some really nice glowing edges and we can tweak this further by simply going under shading and here we don't want any kind of ambience so i'm going to set this to zero diffuse i'm going to set this to zero as well specular i'm going to set this to 100 roughness let's set this to zero as well metal we can set this to zero now you can see that we have these very nice highlights and if you want to overlay them on top of this now we can change the blending mode to something like add perfect so now you can see we have these very nice now if you want to play around with this then you can just increase this light intensity and you can see that we have some very prominent areas now if you want you can play around with the roughness you can just increase this up a little bit to, if you want to have more area like this now i'm going to just quickly lower down the intensity because it's too much you can also play around with the light height to change the position of this so i'm going to just quickly place it somewhere around 80 perfect now here we have something like this so you can see that we are able to see some really nice highlight edges now if you want to add more of these then you can just simply select this layer press ctrl d and on this one we can do a couple of these things so first i'm going to change the direction of light so that we can move these highlight edges somewhere else like this now if you want you can also apply gaussian blur 
let's drag it over here and if i increase its value you can see that it will make this really big and really nice now let's go over here and roughness we can just set this to zero perfect so here you can see we are able to see some really nice edges let me just quickly lower this down and we can lower down the intensity as well to something like this perfect so here you can see we have this now if you want to add more then select this press ctrl d and under the light let's go and just simply change the direction so that we have more highlight edges so somewhere around here here you can see we have this very nice highlighted edge perfect now you can play around with them more to give this sort of look but i think we are pretty much close we can just probably play around with some intensity and maybe some blurriness again this is completely up to you you can just choose whatever you want now i want to have a little bit of animation in the light direction as well so for that we can add keyframes so let's select this and let's add a keyframe for light direction and on this one as well let's add light direction keyframe now we can select all of these layers press u and let's move to somewhere at the end now we can change this light direction so i'm going to just type six over here and six over here and six right here so now if i play here you can see we have these very nice highlighted edges and you can see that this is animating perfect so in the same way you can add more highlights if you want but i think this these are looking fine now if you think that the color is not matching then you can just simply select this and we can just make this little bit more pink to match the color something like that perfect so here we have our logo now our next step is to add these shiny objects so this is very easy all we have to do is let's go to the shape tool and i'm going to just click and hold let's select the star tool after that you can just simply click anywhere hold on the shift key to move this out here you can see that it will create a star now we can go under the path properties and over here we can just play around with a couple of these things we can increase the number of points and we can also increase the inner and outer radius to something like this now we can change its color so let's say set this to white and on this one we can add some caution blur and let's increase this up to something like three or four perfect so here you can see we have this now you can select this and just place it wherever you want now we can press s to scale this down something like this so here you can see we have this very nice shiny star now we can add some animation to this as well so for this i'm going to select this press t for opacity and let's add a keyframe let's move this little bit ahead and in the beginning i'm going to set this to zero and let's zoom in let's move it to somewhere around one second and let's go to two and i'm going to just simply copy this and just paste it so here you can see we have this and it will just simply shine and go back now we can trim this end point perfect so here we have this one shiny glitter and we can just simply select this press ctrl d now you can just simply move it to different places so let's place one over here and in the same way you can just simply keep on duplicating them and just placing them here and there let's place one at this point press ctrl d and we can just place one over here as well now it's completely up to you, you can just simply keep on doing this and just creating some really nice effects so now if i play back here you can see we are able to see these now if these are too small then you can just simply increase their size so here you can see we have these very nice shiny stars we are pretty much done with this now our next step is to add some shiny glitters to the background as well so here you can see we have some shiny particles in the background now it's actually quite easy let me show you how so let's create a new composition and let's call this one glitter and under this i'm going to add a solid so right click new let's add a solid and let's go back to the main comp and i'm going to quickly pick this color which we have over here let's copy this and let's paste it over here and on this one i'm going to apply noise effect so let's search for noise let's drag it over here let's increase this little bit we don't want too much let's uncheck the use color from now you can see that we have this little bit of grainy background now in order to add these glitters we can just simply select these and let's press ctrl c to copy them and just paste them over here now you can see that we have these particles now these are too big so we can probably 
let's align them together and let's select all of them and I'm going to press S to just simply scale them down so that we have these very nice shiny particles now you can just simply select them press ctrl D and just move them here and there just randomly place them at different locations perfect so here you can see we have these now you can see that all of these are glowing at once so instead we can just simply offset them however we want now you can either use any script if you have or you can just do it manually all you have to do is just simply randomly align them at different positions like this so now i have simply arranged them randomly now if you want to keep this going on then you can select all of these layers press ctrl d and let's move them to the top now we can just move them a little bit ahead where all of these ends so if i play back here you can see we have these very nice shiny particles in the background perfect now let's use them to our logo so let's go back to the main comp and i'm going to quickly drag this glitter comp and let's place it where we have this depth and now you can select this glitter and we can just simply change its track mat so you can just simply pick whip and just select the depth layer like this and we can probably place this on top of this perfect so now you can see we have this very nice background and now if i play back you can see we have these shiny particles and i think the noise is too much so we can go back to the glitter comp and we can select the background and we can just lower this amount to something like two or four maybe let's keep this at four now we can go back to the main comp we can also do one more thing we can just simply scale this glitter comp to have more particles perfect so here you can see we have our barbie logo and we have everything done again you can play around with these colors to match them perfectly so once you are done with this we can add a little bit of scaling animation so for that it's quite easy you can create a null object so right click new and let's add a null object now you can select all of these layers and just parent them to the null now you can add a scaling keyframe so let's add over here let's increase this up so now if i play back here you can see we have our logo and we have all the animations already applied now the best thing is that this is completely procedural so that means if you go inside the logo comp here you can just simply replace this with whatever you want so let's type hello and you can easily scale this down just place it wherever you want now if i go back here you can see that it will change the text now you might have to increase the size of this glitter to make this visible perfect now you have to play with the position of these as well because we set them according to the barbie logo something like this so you can just place them wherever you want and you have all the animations already applied so this is how you can create these kind of barbie logo reveal animation in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one